Hello guys, welcome back to Kids Cooling Playground. So today I was looking at the uh, Kids Cooling Playground studio and I saw this game as a clicker game uh, done by this uh, person here. And I was thinking about making a script uh, to do the auto click uh, for me. And uh, I thought of um, doing that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, see if I can do that. So I was looking at that earlier. And I found that uh, using Python is actually really easy to do this. So I can show you guys how to do that. You probably can do it with JavaScript as well. But since our channel, we have some Python uh, tutorial done making it the, uh, you know, the uh, Python tutorial for it. So if you look over here, let me go inside the game. I'll show you how it looks like. So the game looks like this. Uh, so when you run it, and then every time you click, you get one point, right? And then after you click, after some time, you can buy something here to make it more click. So one click, you get like double the click and 10 times the click, 100 times the click. So every time you click, you get more points, right? So uh, you don't want to click on this all day, right? So how can we do a uh, script or you know, something like that that will help us click this and you can get more points. So I thought of um, trying that. So in order to do that, you can uh, you can go to uh, python.org uh, here, dot download. From here, you can go to download and then download the latest version of Python, okay, for your window or your Mac or whatever. Okay, after you uh, download this, you can install it. Okay, so when you launch the launcher, right, for installation, it'll come up like this. Make sure you add this one, select this one, say add Python uh, to the path. Basically, if you once you've done that, it will add it and then you can run Python anywhere, okay? So I'm not going to install it because I already have it installed. So I can like cancel this, okay? And then you can go to like a window, open up your uh, command, uh, you know, command prompt. So uh, just say run CMD. You type CMD, it will come up with something like this. Just click on that, you get this black screen. And then you can go to your directory. So you can like change directory, right? So CD path the directory so now you're on this directory i'm already on here but i'm just showing you so you can type change directory to go here and then what you can do is uh you can type it if you make sure your python works you can type python dash dash version so as you can see i have an older version of python 3.7.3 okay so once you've done that uh what you have to do next is you have to type in this command uh, pip3 install okay let me move my mouse so you guys can see and you can say py auto GUI. So this will actually help you to uh, help help you to control the uh, the GUI, basically the graphics uh, user interface using Python. So you type this command and you type install. It will take like maybe like a minute or two to install all the package for Python. So I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. So if you have not, if you do it for a first time, you do it, okay? So after that, you go to your folder wherever you want, and then you can just create a new file, a text file. And you can say, let's say auto clicker, and then you can change the extension to .py, okay? So you say yes. So uh, you see my icons a little bit different because I have a PyCharm installed. Don't worry about that. You might look like uh, some file, right? Doesn't matter. So we're not gonna use PyCharm anyway. So right click, you can say open with, let's say I'm gonna open with Notepad. So as you can see, I open it with Notepad. I think uh, for for uh, Mac, you use text editor or something, but Windows, you can just use Notepad or you can use any of your favorite editor, like Sublime or whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so once you have this open, uh, you can say import, okay, Py auto GUI, okay. So this will import the um, this package that we just installed. And then you can say print, okay? And then you say py auto query dot size. So if you have multiple window, it will actually, um, you know, uh, show the size of the main window. So um, if you have multiple window, you have to just imagine that is a whole thing. So the um, it will actually see the whole thing as one one window. So you might have to move it further, okay? Depends on the size. So let's say we go back to our game, okay? And then now we have this, this file here, right? So let's say this is the size and we want to move the mouse. So you will say, right? Um, py auto grid dot move. 
and then capital TO. And then let's say you want to move to um, 1,300, okay, comma, uh, let's say 300Y, so this is X and Y, okay, comma, and then say duration equal to one. So uh, it will be basically one second. So for me, I have two screens, so I have to do 1,300. So if you have a smaller screen, uh, you know, you have one screen, maybe 450 or something, doesn't matter. Just try it, okay, you save it. So uh, to run it, you go back here, right, to where we have the file, same location. You can just type Python and then say auto clicker.py. So you, if I run this, you can see the uh, mouse move, right? You see my mouse just move out of the window. So that's how the mouse move, right? So um, because 1,300 is still on the other side of the screen, let's say I say 1,800. So you can see, I save it again. So if I run this again, you'll see that the mouse move, see? So you can see how the mouse move, right? So we try to move it to the heart, right? So um, for this one, I already actually have the coordinate down because I already did it earlier to test the location. So I can just uh, move it, I'll show you. So for here, I am going to move it to um, uh, 2,100 and then uh, 425. So for you, maybe different, okay? For you, if you have a single screen, maybe 450 or 400, just try it. So now I have this on, right? So I'll save it, Control S. Uh, I'm gonna run it again. You can see it moved to the heart shape. So this is the exact position that I want to, right? Go. So now I found the position that I want. So uh, what you have to do is uh, there's a couple way to do the click. You can say uh, PY auto grid dot click, and you can look up the uh, you know the uh, information on uh, online. Okay, that's a different way. But uh, for the code, you have to actually look into the code of this project. So this project you use something called mouse down. So it's not a mouse click. So that's different event. So if you look at event here, right? That's like this sprite is clicked. If you use this sprite is clicked, then that is actually a a click so you will say uh, py auto grid that click the, as the in python but since this is a, a mouse down so you cannot use mouse down i mean you cannot use click you have to use mouse down and then they also have something like wait until not mouse down so that means you have to make sure that you have to push the mouse back up so what we have to do is let's go back to this project again so let's go back to our code so here, what we have to do is let's let's just go for 10, okay, 10 times. So 4x in range, and then we'll do 10. So make sure you put a colon. I'll uh, just take off the space. So make sure you put a colon at the end and then tab, okay, say print x. So uh, in Python, it will go from 0 and then 1, 2, 3, right? So it will be 0 to 9. So you can add semicolon or no semicolon, doesn't matter, okay? Uh, you can say part auto good dot mouse down, okay? Like this. And then we have to say pi auto good dot mouse up, okay? This is basically moving the mouse down, then moving the mouse up, back up. So now I'm gonna save it, control S to save it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this game again, okay? So you can see it's zero. So I'm going to have here, uh, what I'm going to do is going to run it. Just click on the up key in your arrow key. Up key will automatically run the last command. So when I run this again, you can see it goes over there and then start clicking it. You see that? It clicked 10 times. You see that? So you can see also that this thing is also showing uh, because I print the uh, the, uh, the x right x value which is the loop because in here I say print right print x right so if you don't want to see this you can take this out and it won't show so now let's say if I want to run it for a hundred times right just change this to hundred and then I'm, I'm going to run it again here right uh, maybe I'll move this over here um, so I guess you cannot see because I'm on full screen. So anyway, but then you can see the clicker. So, so you can see it's going to clicking. So as you can see, it keep on clicking hundred times. So just don't move your mouse. If you move your mouse, then it will it will try to click somewhere else. So you see that it keep on clicking to hundred. So it will be hundred and ten because we clicked the first time hundred ten, right? 
So uh, you see, I don't have to do any work. So the program is running for me. So it will click until 110 or stop. So you see, it's stop. So we go back over here in this uh, application. You can see it ran until 99, right? The loop. So you see, from zero to 99. So now once you have 110, you can go into the shop. You can buy this value, I guess. So now every time you click, you get two points. So you can go back and you can, let's say we'll change it back to 10, right? So now every time we rerun it, we'll get more points. So let's run it again. So we'll go over here and then I'll click. So you see two points each time now, see? So from 10 to 30, because we get two points. So as you can get more money, you can buy the power up, which give you 10 per click, 100 per click, something like that. It's really cool. Uh, thanks to uh, this person who made the, uh, the game for the clicker. So uh, I was just uh, experimenting with Python today with this clicker. So hope you guys like the video. And um, yeah, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Thank you very much and see you guys next time. Be sure to subscribe and uh, share with your friend. All right, bye bye.